daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the San Francisco Giants and their bitter rivals to the south, the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. The staffs for these two teams sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. Just like any team, pitching is going to be a key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but if they can pitch like they can, I think this team is going to be pretty successful. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2018 Los Angeles Dodgers. Quickly now, we'll look at the two men who are entrusted with the starting pitching assignment here to begin the new year. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. How do they go about taking down their division rival, Mark DeRosa? Well, Matt, this goes for both lineups. They know they're dealing with a tough test in a pitcher's park. But they can't let that bother them too bad or they'll walk out of here three four game set 0 for 12 0 for 15. They have to find a way to stay within themselves line drive approach one will carry out of here if they get it. Clayton Kershaw gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do we need to know here Danny. Hey we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch last year his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season. And I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that. And hopefully, he gets off to a good start. And we'll see if that starts in this one today. Hey, let's take a look at the Dodgers on defense. And let's take a look at Yasiel Puig, a lightning rod in our sport. But he can play some D. Covers a lot of territory out there. And do not come around third base and send this guy home. He has one of the best arms in the game. So stepping in, Steven Duggar. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Here now the two two. Is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at 3 and 2. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Spoils another one, and this is exactly what you're looking for out of your leadoff hitter. Three, two, one more time. And he lays off. Ball four. And the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. And that's just an incredible job at the plate by the leadoff man there. Not only did he make the pitch and throw a ton of pitchers and bust his tail, but he also won the battle and earned a free pass. So in now for San Francisco, Joe Panic. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. The three one. Full count three and two. Oh. 
swing and a looper to left. Kemp coming on. That's a hit. The first of the year for San Francisco. Duggar rounds third and is digging for the plate. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And not in time as the run scores. Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they might hold the runner at third, but they send him anyway, and the run scores. Standing in now, Will Clark. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Hey, I love the location right there. Maybe that extra base hit was a big wake-up call to get it going. Kershaw comes set. Here's the two and two. Popped him up. Reese is calling for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Batting fourth, the left fielder number 30, Orlando. Next to bat for the Giants, Orlando Cepeda. And a great chance here for the Giants to add on in just the first inning. Panic, a runner at second with one away. Hard hit ball to second. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. The relay, and he is in there with an RBI triple. As we take a look here, it's just a good piece of hitting and good hustle. Driving the second run of the inning home and putting himself 90 feet away with just one out. Into the box, Willie McCovey. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Snyder's under it. And he makes the play, but this should extend their lead as the runner tags from third. And the run is in to score from third. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball on the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. His lifetime numbers against Kershaw. He's 0 for 4. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And that's nope. low, ball, ball four. four. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks at bunches, and that's Batting already seven. two walks here in Not the early going. Right we'll see if this continues ball to be an issue for him as this start continues. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Fouled away. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning. No errors. And a runner left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. Giants out in front here, three to nothing. Now a moment for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup in a daytime home contest. Well, Matt, I'm looking for someone to step up right now. Down three runs. Someone's going to have to hit a gaffer with runners in scoring position. It all starts with the leadoff guy. Find a way to execute and get himself on base. See if they can get a rally start and get back in this. Juan Marichal is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? 
Hey, we're taking a look at one of the top pitchers in the game. This guy has over 200 career victories, and he'd like to add another one to this list. This guy's been a really good pitcher for a long time, and right now he's showing no signs of slowing down. It'll be interesting to watch him work in this one here. Okay, here's how San Francisco lines up defensively. And behind the plate, world champion, former MVP, former rookie of the year. He's done it all. Buster Pose. Buster is in full command of his pitching staff. Hunter Penn. At the plate, Jackie Robinson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2 and 2. Now he goes up the ladder on the fastball and pops this one up. Cepeda is camped under this one, and he puts it away for the first down. Batting second, third baseman, Justin Turner. Next up for Los Angeles, Justin Turner. He'll get to take his first cuts here. The 2-1. Ball even at two and two. One out, nobody on. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Batting third. Next for the Dodgers, Huey Reese. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Here's the one and one delivery. Grounded foul. A bouncer up the middle. Crawford to his left. He's there. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. They trail in this one. Three nothing. Stepping in, Buster Posey, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Kershaw gets the sign. 1-1 one, one on its way. Hit down the third baseline. Love by Turner. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Juan Marichal. The 1-1 home is right down the middle, but swung on and missed. And there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes Mr. Freddie Ferguson. You know this is one of the guys behind the dish Freddie Ferguson Dan that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit you understand that he's got his own zone. Uh, you touched on it d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players not only pitchers but position players. He makes the younger players he makes them earn their keep. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball. Six. A high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. In now, Steven Duggar. And a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. Giants are down one, two, three, but they lead it three nothing. And 
next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter Duke Snyder will start off the inning for the Dodgers with Matt Kemp waiting on deck to follow. The one one home. Hit out towards second fielded by Panic, and he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. That is good. Left fielder Matt Kemp. Coming to the plate now, Matt Kemp. Now the three and two pitch. And Kemp is able to lay off as he'll reach base on ball four. Batting six. First baseman. Now at the plate, Steve Garvey. It's sharply but foul down the right side. The next 0-2. And it's fouled away. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. The next 0 2. Misses, that's ball one. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. The 1 2. His fastball taken high for a ball. Kemp, base runner at first with one out. Curve ball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three-two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. The 3 2 pitch he is swung on and missed strike three. Batting seven. Right fielder. Standing in, Yasiel Puig. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The 1 1. And he fouls this one off. Looking for the punch out and the offering. Weak roller right side. Throw in time and the side is retired. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We'll go now to the top of the third. Giants on top, three to nothing. Not far from us here at Dodger Stadium, the beautiful beaches of Southern California. Thanks again for joining us on MLB Network. Digging in for his second at bat, Joe Panic, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. The 3 1. And he lays nope. off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right Not there, bad. and you know he's Over talking history. to himself in his head Will about it. That kind of stuff more. goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. Into the box now. Will Clark. He swings and misses. Throw down. 
And he can't hold on to the throw as it short hops him and eats him up. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out. And he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's three and two. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Halfway to 100 pitches. Here it is. Fouled off. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Fouled away. Kershaw comes set. Full count pitch on its way. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Now batting, left fielder, Orlando now at the plate, Cepeda. Orlando Cepeda. It was an RBI triple for him in his first at bat. Runner at second here with one man out. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. On the move is Puig. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. Lifetime numbers against Kershaw. He's totaled 13 base hits in 79 tries. He's taken him deep once. Three and one. Here it is. A wave and a miss. A tick behind a good fastball. When you get yourself to a three-one count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Payoff pitch on its way. Inside with the fastball, and he works the base on ball. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Try to pull back on the pitch inside, but he pretty clearly broke the plane that time. It's strike two. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Ready on one and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Here he comes again, 1 2, and it's fouled away. Panic over at second. Pence on at first with two down. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on MLB Network right after this.
digging in the switch hitter, Yosmani Grandal, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. And that one just missed outside. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. The pitcher, Clayton Kershaw, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation, so let's see if that is indeed on right here. The 1-1. One, one. Now a bunt attempt here, and they'll just tag him out along the first base line. Pro won't get him. Sacrifice was in order well, right there as he Second gets the bunt line. down right there. And sometimes Jackie it's Robinson. easier to just tag him instead of making that throw to first base. Standing in now, Jackie Robinson. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. The one two swung on in the dirt strike three and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Good pitch there and that was a nice job by his a battery mate to complete the plate Third first England. after the ball hit the dirt. Justin Turner. Stepping in now Justin Turner. Fly ball out toward right field. On the move is Pence. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Dodgers leave one. They trail it here three to nothing. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. I like how he worked him backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't showing the fastball early in the at-bat, but then went back-to-back -back once he had the hitter down in the count. Into the box, Buster Posey. And, oh, not so fast, partner. Called strike on the inside part of the plate. Three and one now. Three runs, just two hits. And no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Sliced hard on the ground. Robinson has it. Throw on to first will take care of him, and Kershaw is in control now. Two away. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle, and he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Juan Marichal, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Kershaw now on one and one. Now a little pop-up off toward the first base side. Garvey has got it, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Giants lead it three to nothing. Now at the plate, Pee Wee Reese. He sets a lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. The 1-1. 
one one is taken for ball two. Hit back up the middle. And there's one down now. Center fielder number four. Two. Snyder. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Duke Snyder. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Ball. To two balls and two strikes now. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Nice slide and a stop by Panic. It's there. He got him. Wow, what a great show of range there. The ball looked like it might get through up the middle, but check out the spiding stop. And that's going to take him right into a good throwing position where he's able to get enough on the throw to get him out at first. Into the box now, Matt Kemp. Breaking balls in for a strike. Back to back breaking balls. He just missed that one right there, fouling it away. Do not expect a third. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. On to the top of inning number five we go. San Francisco leads this one three to nothing. And that'll bring up Steven Duggar. He'll get his side started in the inning and Dan so far they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy they sure have Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away. But whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. Good hard slider at 88. It's one and two now. But that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And Kershaw can't find the target there as he's run it as far as it can go now. It's three and two. Joe Panic waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Count remains full. Turner is over to take a look. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Manny. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now, oh, Joe Panic. That ball misses four. ball four, and Panic's aboard. The first base, number 22, Will Clark. At the plate, Will Clark. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up.
Now the 2-1 pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch hit to third. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the no, plate man. right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he oh, fights man. it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Stepping in now, Orlando Cepeda. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Panic at second. Clark at first, one gone. One, two. And he fouls this one off. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. He'll try again. One, two. Still a ball and two strikes. Three runs, three hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Six fouls in a row. This is turning into one of those epic at bats. Who's going to blink first? Is the pitcher going to continue to attack the zone? Or is the hitter going to come outside it? High fly ball out to straightaway center. Snyder's under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, right fielder, Hunter Pence. So it's first and second with two men gone, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Hunter Pence. He's set, and the three and one pitch. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Now the three and two pitch. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Giants leave a couple. They lead it three to nothing. That'll bring up the two-time All-Star MVP, Steve Garvey. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. pitch home is a swing and a miss that's strike three 
I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he uh, really right, seems to have this lineup six. off balance. Yep. Even yeah. when he challenges Please. them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Into the box now. Yasiel Puig. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Dodgers have yet to break into the hit column here. Hit sharply on the ground. Panic's got it. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. The catcher, Still a little nine. early to start talking Young about these things. Money there you go, right dog. there. A big goose egg in that hit column, worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. The 2 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. When we come back, Evan Longoria will start things off. It's the Giants 3 and the Dodgers nothing. Ready for another shot now. Evan Longoria comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with his 100th pitch of the ball game. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Those 0 2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Kershaw into the windup. 1 2 on its way. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Taking it in is Puig, and there's your first down. The batter, number 35, shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Riding into the box, Brandon Crawford. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The 1 2. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. One out, nobody on. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. No hitter is ever going to feel good about taking the hat trick with three strikeouts in a game, but I will say he's not the first guy to have a terrible game against my men on the mound. And you know what? He won't be the last. We all know he's one of the best in the business for a reason. Standing in now, Buster Posey hit on the ground to short. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Giants down in order, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Corey Seager is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Corey Seager. He pulls this one into right. That's a hit. The first in this game for the Dodgers. And that's a base hit right there on a hanging two-strike changeup. That's one we like to call a hanger right there. You see it high, you let it fly. Nice job by the offensive player. Into the box, Jackie Robinson. That misses. So a single and a walk. And it's first and second with nobody out. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Digging in, 
Justin Turner. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 3-0 pitch. Finds the zone. Strike one. Three and one with two on. And this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove it one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. Set. Here's the 3 1. And a good cut there, but it's chopped foul at the plate. And it's full now, 3 and 2. Three two pitch. Right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. On to first, and they get the double play. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. In now, Pee Wee Reese up around the face. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Now the 2-1 pitch is a fastball down below the knees. Time for him to attack on the mound. He knows his team's struggling offensively. Don't mess around and try and nibble. Just be on the attack and let them beat you. hit the other way out toward right field and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and one left for LA still down three nothing back here at Dodger Stadium Giants leading this one as we get set for the seventh but before it gets underway there you see our game summary through the first six innings of play Alex Wood is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 57, Alex Wood. And now the Giants pitcher, Juan Marichal. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Sinker misses that time and it's two and one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Now the two one. Is taken ball three. Steven Duggar waits on deck. Called strike and that'll run it full. Strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now, I know he struck out there, but for a pitcher, that's a pretty Bravada. solid at bat. Number Anytime three. you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality A-B in my book. And that'll bring up Steven Duggar. He went down on strikes last time up. One one is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. Oh 
the 2 1 home. The count now at 2 and 2. So a full count now. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. The three two pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. And a fastball misses there, ball four. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3 2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Stepping in now, Joe Penn. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Ready to deliver the one and two. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. The first base, Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, Clark. it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Into the box now, Will Clark. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Aye. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Duggar, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Nice approach by the batter right there. When you know your boy is moving, you start seeing stuff happening out of your peripheral vision. Wait for him to lock in, stay within his at-bat, not swing at something outside the zone, and now put it first and third. Into the box, Orlando Cepeda, breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. Runners on first and third, two away. One, two. Ripped down the first base line. Oh, and this is past him down the line. A fair ball. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. That makes it a 4 nothing ball game. Hey, that's what you try and do as an offense. You get a four-run lead. They're a grand slam ahead, Dan. But you're a former closer warming up. When you see a three-run lead and then your offense gets it to four, you know that same situation's gone out the window. Don't tell me that didn't hurt. Oh, it does hurt you. Oh, oh, it does because, Dero, the only way you're going to get into this game is it has to be a safe situation. You sit and watch eight innings of baseball. You get up to warm up in the ninth, and you're all... And the catcher grabs it to retire the side. The inning is over. Two hits for the Giants lead to a run in the inning. Bottom of the seventh inning upcoming in L.A. Get up and stretch. It's the Giants four and the Dodgers nothing. 
Next to bat is the home run hitting legend Duke Snyder. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. 2 and 1 to count. The 2-1 home. Swing and a ball line softly down the right field line. Foul. Here's one that misses inside and the counts run full now. Three and two. If you're ever going to see a position player go to the mound, it's going to be in a situation like this. Get him to relax a little bit, focus on his mechanics, and get that fastball back in the zone. Can't allow this guy to lead off wall. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. That was a pretty good at bat that he pushed to count to three and two and made the pitcher work. But I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Standing in now, Matt Kemp. Kemp in front at three and one. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a three one count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the counts in his favor like this. The three one. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Looking up Duggar. And this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot here for Matt Kemp. First home run of the campaign for him. As they get on the board, it's 4-1 to one now. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Stepping in now, Steve Garvey. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both a left-hander and a right-hander get loose. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit in the air down the right field line. Pence on the run. And no shot for Pence. This is going to land foul. Here now the 2-2. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Cepeda is there. He's got it and there are two down now. The right fielder number 66. Yasiel Queen. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Yasiel Puig. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Set to deliver on 2 and 1. Count even at 2 and 2. Two out, nobody on. Outside and a full count, three and two. Yosmani Grandal would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Now the payoff pitch home. Popped him up. Panic is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So it may be too little too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. We'll march on to the eighth. It's the Giants four and the Dodgers one. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Now the one and one pitch. 
Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Line to the right side. And this is going to find its way into right for a base hit. And the leadoff man's on to start the eighth. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. And a breaking ball stays outside. The two, two. Count remains two and two. Two two one more time. High in the air out to center field. Snyder's under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Time to bring you up to date on the numbers for our two starters. It's our starter comparison, and the hometown nine have had trouble generating much by way of hits, as you can see by the left side of your screen. Here's Buster Posey now. Lifetime history with Alex Wood. Seven hits in 15 at-bats. Two balls and two strikes to the Giants catcher. Two two swing high drive left field and deep back goes Kemp to the track and they'll have to run this down near the 360 sign. Wow he almost made a heck of a play in left. Yeah Batty you can't okay. fold the left fielder there. You'll see he makes a tremendous effort but he just can't haul it in and it gets past him for an extra base hit like the effort though. In now, Juan Marichal. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kemp has a read on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Make it five to one. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some runs scored for him, particularly Number when you're six. throwing as well as he is tonight. And he gets another insurance run on top of it. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Stephen Duggar. The 2 1 home. Taken, strike two. From the stretch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Kemp moves over, and that ends the inning. Giants will have to be content with just the one. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Giants out in front here, five to one. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one.
Here now the 2-2. Two -two. And he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3-2. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a team answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Manny Machado will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Manny Machado! Grandal aboard here at first with nobody out. Swung on and missed. One and two now. All right, all you're asking for as an offense is a chance. Well, your leadoff man has certainly done his part. He's gotten on base. You have to start clawing back into this game right now if you're going to find a way. The one two heading out towards shallow right in there a base hit and that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now boy not the prettiest of swings deal well, that looked a little bit from the Vladimir Guerrero book but nonetheless he got the job done yeah a little choking oh right there he flipped the bat out there and was able to find a little empty green grass not pretty but he'll take it. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Jackie Robinson. He's gone hitless in this one, Dan, and he's not alone. No, he's not, Matt. This lineup has had no answer for their opponent on the mound so far. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called. And that's going to be out number one. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Digging in once again, Justin Turner. He was a double play victim last time around. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The one two is a breaking ball. They can't find the zone and it's even at two. Five one our score as we play the eighth. Liner towards second. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Well, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, Dero, to make sure that gets through and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Ready once again, Pee Wee Reese. And Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take the deep, but if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. The 1 1 home. Here's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. There's one. On the first, it's a double play. As their woes continue, the inning is over. Just what the doctor ordered. He gets the double play to get him out of the inning. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Ryan Madsen enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Here.
Here's Joe Panic, one for two with a double on his line thus far. Three two pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Played on the backhand. And the throw is wide as he couldn't keep his foot on the bag that time. And we'll have to see how they want to score that play. So that'll go down as an E4 as he certainly had his problems that time at second base. Striding in, Will Clark. Last time through was a base hit. One one misses for the second ball. Now the two one pitch doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Now the Dodgers get a right hander up and throwing in their bullpen. in there and it'll run the count to full three and two fastball swung on and missed for the first down hey I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Into the box, Orlando Cepeda. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. The 2-1 home. And he gets a piece there and chops it foul at home plate as the count moves to 2-2 two and two now. Panic leads off first with one away. Now a chopper to first might only get one. Garvey fields it cleanly. Only play to the pitcher covering and the runner moves into second on the play. Now batting, right fielder, Hunter Pence. Here's the right fielder, Hunter Pence. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Two out here and a runner at second. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two one home is looked at for ball three. Evan Longoria would be next. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field. A base hit, the throw home. And he is safe at the plate as they open things further to six to one now. Dan, as a former infielder, I apologize for him. Nothing's more frustrating or upset you more as a defender than making an error and seeing that guy come around the score. It, it, you know what? And that's one of those cases as a pitcher, d -Row, There's not much you can do. Listen, there are physical and there are mental errors. And you just have to, as a pitcher, go ahead and look past that now and try to pick up your teammate and try to get it out any way you can. One ball and two strikes to count. And no offer that time from Longoria. It's back to two and two now.
The 2-2 one more time. is laid off up for ball number three. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the three and two pitch fouled off. Another full count pitch home on the ground to third. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. Man, as we take another look at this in slow motion, you can see that the first baseman makes a great effort to scoop it out of the dirt. Almost had it, but it squirts out of the pocket, and the man's on board with a throwing error. Into the box now, Brandon Crawford. Nope, and here's a pitch taken by Crawford for a ball. Three and one. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Hit well, but foul that time by Crawford as this will find the seats down the line in right. Two men are on with two men out. Low roller back to the mound. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Giants will have to be content with just a one. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, and six coming up. Giants on top, six to one. Hunter Strickland is out from the bullpen now as he'll get the call here on opening day. Hunter Strickland. Now to the plate, Duke Snyder. He's batting cleanup in this one, but will get us started here in the inning as they look to wake up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. Here it is, the 3-0 is in there for strike one. one and could this be the start it's a long way back but the leadoff man is on base to start their final set of at bats so here's Matt Kemp now it was a solo shot for him in his last at bat it'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat that last at bat that was a changeup he hit for a home run I'm gonna see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs sent in the air out to straightaway center Duggar will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. The batter, first baseman, Steve Garvey. That'll bring up the two-time All-Star MVP, Steve Garvey. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now the payoff pitch home gets him looking up around the letters. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there. He struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Stepping in now, Yasiel Puig takes a high fastball for a strike. Yeah, we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Snyder is off of first with two away. And this pitch 
misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. And this is swung on and missed, so with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Dodgers down to their final strike. Might have been cheating for another fastball trying to get the head to that one early. Pitcher pulled the string with a nasty breaking ball and had him a little bit out in front. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. He stays alive, still two and two. Here now the 2-2 is laid off and the count runs full. Two down runners at first and second. Still hanging with him another good swing to keep it going. him up. Longoria over to his right. Makes the catch and that's the ball game. Yeah and they know this is going to be a tough stretch on the road. To win the first game of the series has got to feel pretty good. Something to build on for tomorrow. Six to one the final tally today. The Giants hosted a three run first to propel them to the win. Juan Marichal gets the win on the mound his first of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that's a wrap for us here this afternoon. For Mark, Dan, and the rest of our crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Our final line score this afternoon, first for the victorious Giants. Six runs, eight hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. For the Dodgers, one run, four hits, two errors. They left eight men on base. Time for the ball game, two hours and 59 minutes. Our paid attendance this afternoon, a sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending today's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.